Welcome to Reef Diary, Day 10. So today I knew I was going to be gone from the aquarium for most of the day. However, it did start off a little bit difficult in that the AC of the house was not operating correctly and I had to have a guy out who turned off the system for at least two hours as he repaired the damages. This in turn made the house very warm, very humid, very sticky. And then when he was finished, I just had enough time to kind of get dressed and leave because I was going to my grandson's birthday today out of town. However, today is water test Saturday. And so the first thing I did before I left was measure the water quality and check on what's going on with the reef. And I'm really glad that I did. I thought that I turned on the calcium reactor last night when it was all completely filled with water. And I did flip on the switch, <laughs> but I didn't plug in the cord that runs the MAG-5 circulation pump. So all night, CO2 did get into the reactor and it did lower the pH in there down to about 6.3. And water came out of the effluent of the calcium reactor into the sump, which went into the main reef. And my alkalinity measured 11 today instead of 9.5. So I adjusted the pH controller to bring that number down over the next couple of days and realized my mistake and plugged in the pump that needed to actually be powered to create the uh, calcium reactor internal circulation. After performing those tests, I pretty much left town and was gone to go see my grandson. And uh, he got a present today. He had a really nice party. The weather was hot, but it was fun. And here are just a few pictures in case you're slightly interested. The weather here today reached 100 degrees and the temperature in the house apparently did not come down as much as I would have hoped with the newly repaired air conditioner system. So the reef tank's temperature is a little tiny bit up from where it needs to be. And when I did get home from my trip, uh, the house is about four degrees higher than I'd like. Fortunately, I did make it home in time to feed the fish before the lights turn off. So I need to take care of that yet today. And then there's more for me to do again tomorrow, as is always when it comes to reef keeping. If you aren't subscribed, be sure to subscribe now so you don't miss out on these daily updates of the Reef Diaries. Thanks for watching. Here are a few bonus pictures just because. Uh, my daughter-in-law, I have to hand it to her. My goodness, she is so creative and so inspired. And I, <laughs> you don't want to miss one of her parties. I told her she can plan my birthday party next.